In my life, no drama, no drama, no drama. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Check Air TV, where sharing is caring. So today I'm going to share with you guys how I take care of my transitioning hair. I've been going back natural for about four months and uh, like two weeks now. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into the video. I just took out my hair out of two big corners, you know, the granny plaits that we have in. So this is my hair right now. And uh, if you guys watched my last video of me reviewing the wig, you guys would hear me saying that it was a depression, um, you know, journey so far. It's only been four months, I know, but it's already been depressing. So first off, since I've been going matte natural, my edges were the first thing to lose its relaxed ends. It always happens, and because of that, like I think I got some bald spots here. Now I generally have thin edges, but this was just <laughs> this was just this was not it at all so like the entire of hair was breaking like really bad because obviously my hair is not being relaxed so that's the first thing to go it's always the first thing to go when i'm not relaxing my hair is my edges so sometimes i used to have to like relax my hair and my edges even when I'm not ready to relax my entire head and that was annoying so many of you may ask like why is it I'm going back natural honestly I'm just curious to see like what I can do with my natural hair I love my relaxed hair I love the um, the fact that it's easier to go with the fact that I could just put it up in one and then leave the house the fact that I could get like really slick styles I love it but I've been relaxed for about uh 25 about five years yeah about five years and back in those days you know they didn't have much options when it comes to natural hair but now that there are so many options and so many things that you can do with natural hair i'm just gonna give it a try honestly i don't think i will be remaining natural especially if it doesn't work out because most likely i feel like i'm going to look like a man child because you know my hair is generally short and then when it's natural, it's even shorter. Shrinkage is a hmm. So I'm like, bruh, let's see how this journey is gonna go. My hair is not always like super tough, but over the time I realized like it was getting hard to deal with. My ends are very thin, obviously, because of relax so much not. But let's get straight into power. I take care of my hair. So starting off the process, I try to wash my hair every week or every other week. And within a month, I do at least two deep conditioning. And then sometimes I will put in my put aloes in my hair, and then just have on a shower cap for about. Well, I don't have a specific time. It just depends on how my day goes. Sometimes I might even have it on for an hour. So yeah, that's what I do. So it's deep conditioning some days, and then aloe vera the other day and then after that i towel dry my hair the only how i will blow out my hair guys is if i'm in a hurry but i try not to so i will towel dry my hair and then i always go in with my um cream of nature argan oil strength and shine leave-in conditioner guys this works wonders when it comes to softening your hair trust me it's, it's like water and you know conditioner in one and you guys know some people use water to comb out their hair so what i do is i already have one that is already half like really empty so i would always put my hair in the middle like i've done here and then i will try to pat it at the end of the comb like this right then I would go in with this and I would spread the roots because the roots are the top area. I'll spray it hot with my fingers and spray in the roots. And then I take my hand and just drag the others to the ends. If it's not enough, then I'll go back in and just spray it in. 
Now what I do, I don't comb it out immediately. I do this and then I just move on to the other sections and let that soak it for a little while. That will just, you know, help it to soften. Because you know, some people don't like to comb out their hair when it's wet. People say that like, it pulls their hair even more and pull out hair and whatever, whatever. So that's why I do that. I spray it around my new growth. And I go with my big teeth comb. And see, it makes it so much easier to comb out. Soft and nice. Look at that. If it wasn't for this, I would have been tugging my entire head. Now that that's finished, next I go in with my Crown of Curls Lavender Frosted Butter. And what I would do is pat my hair again in the same four sections. This is now I could go in with a smaller comb because it's like really soft. So I just pat. And I would add my lavender back to the bottom too. Make sure to apply to my edges. Then to my ends. And then after I finish one section, I go in with my Crown of Curls Elixir Oil. I don't oil my hair last a lot because everything in my Crown of Curls is very moisturizing. So I don't need all my oil. So I just go here and I will just oil my hair in the middle of that section. I drip a little to my edges and what I do is just I just take my hand and massage my edges with the oil for about five minutes on one side in the end I pass And then I go in the same center of that section and I add a bit of oil there. Tip a little bit in my hand and I just add it to the ends. Now after I've done all of that, what I would do is I would just give myself a big granny flat, right? And sometimes this flat stays in for like a week until I'm ready to wash my hair again. I try to wear wigs or um, just tie my hair down, you know? So I don't actually have to be scrubbing my hair all the time, but that's what I try to do. Um, if it is, I'm going away, then I'll brush, brush my hair and then tie it down still. But normally I have my head tied. If my hair is not tight, then I try to do braids, but I make sure that my hair is moisturized, okay? Moisturized. The oil will act as a sealant. So after a week, sometimes I would take them out and I would still feel like they're moisture. So you know they won't be dry. I'll still feel the moisture in it. Thank you very much, Crown of Curls, for keeping my hair moisturized. So what I'm gonna do now is just braid this in. 
Oh, I really don't study my parts. Sometimes I do clean up my parts and do a better part, but other than that. And then I go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm not gonna spin around because I did this without the mirror, so you know, you guys don't wanna see the back, okay? So this is it. So now that I've done this, what I do is I just put back on my bonnet and I leave this like this until I'm ready to actually pull my hair again. So after I put on my bonnet, I would go and wash my face, use my spin brush, clean my face because you don't know like the oils and so could run in your face. So I try to like clean my face every morning and every night before bed so that my face can stay clear of the oils and what's not. Um, her lavender butters are also good for skin so you can also actually rub this on your skin if you wish. It is all natural anyway. So you guys could do that what i also do is sometimes i might go back in and braid them smaller and instead of okay so instead of braiding them all back let me show you guys so the problematic areas i have as you guys could see like my string ends are already breaking off of my edges so when it's big like this i would go back in the other day with so like i will go back in tomorrow and braid them down this way instead of back because you don't want to pull too much so i just leave them like this for now so that some of the oil and some of the moisture could suck and then tomorrow i'll go back in and break them down this way so that my hair, my edges won't be out like this i'll just break them down that way then i put on my bonnet wash my face and then that would be that until the next week or until I wash my hair again. Um, so just to say, I want to do a trim. You guys see the ends and how thin they are. So I'm thinking to do my first trim on the six month mark. I'm not going to cut my entire hair off. Just a trim to like, you know, I don't like to see the dead ends and the split ends and the ugh. So I'm probably thinking like the next two months in August probably for my birthday actually. I might actually just cut or trim my ends. It would be shorter, but that's nothing. The last time I checked my hair length, it was about 11 inches. So, when I cut it, I'll probably cut off like two inches. Because I think that's my that's my way of going back natural. I normally grow out and then trim, grow out, trim, trim until I, I eventually get to the natural hair. Instead of cutting off full big chop, I might just do that. I don't know, things may change, but that's the plan for now. So that's it for this video, guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button and become a part of our Chair Care family. And if you're already a Care Bear, then hit that like button and drop a comment in the comment section saying what else you guys would like to see and what you guys think about this video or what is your input in my natural journey. What are your advices? You can say in the comment section. And you know, I'll try and comment on the, all of you guys' courses and share your views, okay? So until next time guys, bye-bye.